U.S. President Joe Biden has threatened to stop weapon supplies to Israel if it attacks Rafah in southern Gaza. Right, and in an interview with CNN, Biden said, and I'm quoting here, I made it clear that if they go into Rafah, I am not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah, to deal with the cities. That deal with that problem. Biden further acknowledged that U.S. weapons have been used by Israel to kill civilians in Gaza. The warning came after the U.S. paused the shipment of American bombs to Israel as it seemed adamant on invasion of Rafah, where Palestinian civilians are sheltering. So far, Biden had resisted stopping any of the $3 billion in weapons to the United States that they see by the United States that they send to Israel each year. But after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu defied Biden's appeals to spare Rafah, the U.S. president has publicly warned the country now. However, Biden has said the U.S. could continue to provide defensive weapons to Israel, including for its Iron Dome air defense system. Meanwhile, the Israeli army has said that the Kerem Shalom crossing was again targeted by rocket fire that likely injured one soldier. Now the crossing, it's been key to Gaza aid operations. This after the Israeli army said that it reopened the Karim Shalom crossing after closing it for three days following a Hamas rocket attack on Sunday that killed four soldiers. Furthermore, Israel has continued tank and aerial strikes on Rafah and has threatened a major assault on it. The Israeli military said its ground troops conducted targeted raids in the southern Gaza city's east while talks are still underway in Cairo aimed at pausing Israel's seven-month-old offensive. Palestinian militant group Hamas, on the other hand, has said it was unwilling to make more concessions to Israel in negotiations over a ceasefire for Gaza. Hamas said the group would not go beyond a ceasefire proposal it accepted on Monday. Meanwhile, the Israeli Defense Forces and the Shin Bet Security Agency in a joint operation killed Ahmad Ali, the commander of the Hamas Naval Forces in Gaza City. The operation was carried out with the assistance of an Air Force aircraft guided by intelligence from the Shin Bet and the Navy. On the northern front, the Hezbollah claimed responsibility for launching anti-tank guided missiles and mortars from Lebanon Towards a military position in the Malkia area, the Israeli Defense Forces confirmed that at least two projectiles were fired from Lebanon towards this region. Following which, Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant hinted at the possibility of an escalation on the northern border, saying it could be a hot summer. He also vowed to return the tens of thousands of Israelis displaced by Hezbollah's attacks back to their homes. <laughs> Now, of course, what remains to be seen is how exactly will the United States change its policy, if at all. And our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report on the implications of an American arms embargo on Israel. Listen to this. The U.S. decision to pause weapons shipments to Israel has significant implications for the ongoing war in Gaza. By halting the transfer of high payload munitions, the Biden administration is signaling its concerns about the Israeli military and its actions in Rafah and the potential for civilian casualties. However, it also risks straining U.S.-Israeli relations, which could have long-term consequences for regional security and cooperation. Furthermore, Susan explains the growing domestic pressure on the Biden administration to amend conditions for aid to Israel. The growing domestic pressure on the Biden administration to condition aid to Israel is substantial. If the administration fails to take any meaningful action, it may face political consequences, including more loss of support from progressive voters and a potential challenge to its leadership on Middle East policy. There is no doubt that Biden needs these votes. So all of this is more or less political. But is this meaningful action? Well, U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham said that delaying arms to Israel is a key to Hiroshima and Nagasaki on steroids. He also said that the U.S. will, quote, 
pay a price for obscene decisions to stop weapons to Israel at a time of great peril. Finally, not long ago, Democrats impeached Donald Trump over allegedly threatening to withhold weapons from an ally for a political purpose. In that case, it was Ukraine.